Lab. In science, we are always talking about living things. You know, plants, animals and people too. I'm a living thing and so are you. But sometimes it's more difficult to tell if something is a living thing. We can tell if something's a living thing by looking at its needs and characteristics. All living things need air, water and food. Many animals get their air, water and food the same way. Some aquatic animals like fish get the air they need using special body parts called gills. Plants need air, water and food too. They take in air through their leaves and water through underground roots. Plants don't eat food, they make it. They use the energy from sunlight, air and water to make the food they need to live and grow. Living things grow. Take a look at a photo of you when you were a baby. How have you changed? I'm sure you've changed in a lot of different ways, but one way for sure is that you've grown. All living things grow. And when they grow, they get taller and heavier. Newborn kittens grow into adult cats. A tiny oak seedling will grow into a giant oak tree. Living things reproduce. This means they have young. Sea turtles will lay eggs from which baby turtles will hatch. Many plants produce and disperse seeds which will grow into a new plant. Some living things reproduce by dividing into two new living things. Living things respond to change. Living things can detect change, and when they detect change, they react or respond in a certain way. When you get cold, you might start to shiver or put a jacket on. When an animal senses danger, it might respond by warning other animals or seeking shelter for safety. Plants respond to changes too. They might grow in the direction of sunlight or lose their leaves and fall. Some plants can even open and close their leaves in response to touch. So there you have it. If you see something that needs air, food and water, reproduces and responds to change, you can be sure it's a living thing. Okay, let's see if you can decide if something is a living thing or a non-living thing. Let's try some easy ones. Is a lion a living thing? A lion needs air, water and food. It reproduces and it responds to change. If you said a lion's a living thing, you're spot on. What about clouds? Are they living things? Clouds don't need food, air or water. They may get bigger on cloudy days, but clouds don't grow. They don't reproduce or respond to change. Clouds are non-living things. What about fire? Its flames dance about and get bigger when you add more fuel. But is it living? Fire doesn't need food or water. It doesn't reproduce or grow either. If you said fire is non-living, you're right. And finally, what about a mimosa plant? It won't survive without getting the air, water and sunlight it needs to make food. It grows and reproduces and responds to touch by closing its leaves. Mimosas are definitely living things. It's been fun learning about living things with you 
and I'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Thank you.